we'll have a look uh, in the kingdom of God, see what is there and what isn't there, because what God wants is there, and what he doesn't want isn't there. Otherwise it wouldn't be the kingdom of God. Now, there are many thoughts and many things written about this, but the best way, I think, to look at this as to what is in the kingdom of God is to read again the story of creation, uh, not wanting to get into any discussions at all about whether it's scientifically correct or whether I'd rather the world was created by the Big Bang or whether, in fact, I'm descended from a baboon or a slug or something. <laughs> I, I really uh, want us to understand that that Garden of Eden story, however you have it in your imagination, is actually a blueprint. It's a blueprint of how God wanted the world to be and I know this is true because if, you re if, if we read it at the end, he sits down and he looks at what he's done and he says, this is very good. Now, interestingly, in there, there are two people, Adam and Eve. And they are doing two things. They are being very, very friendly with God, which is quite easy for them. And, uh, and we, we can look at that. And they're also working with him. Now, first of all, uh, they were going in the twilight, well, Adam was, down to meet God and walk in the evening and have conversations, you know, choice friend conversations. It would have been easy for them because the, the Bible says that Adam was made in God's image and therefore uh, they would have had an awful lot in common. They must have done. So it would have been easy for them to be friends. Uh, also, during the day, Adam was out there continuing to uh, take care of uh, creation, to, to get this new birth thing going in the world, uh, which, of course, was God's idea in the first place, that there should be creation. Um, it's, it's his idea that there should be Adam and Eve. So they were working with him, yes, to, to get creation going. So they were partners, as it were, in the job of launching creation uh, in the world the way that God wanted it and keeping it the way that God wanted it. So there are two things we can learn uh, about uh, God's will for you and me. One is that we should be friends, and the second thing is that we should be partners. And those two things we need to go on. But we need to decide really what God's will is before we can see much about his character and whether we want to be friends with him or not. And we also want to know what he's actually doing in the world to be partnership with him. Otherwise we can't work with him unless we know what he's actually trying to do. <laughs>